Hey everybody! In this month's gel press video, I'm going to create the look of patina with rubber stamps and my gel press. Now I have this ancient stamp. It's from the late 1900s and I figured out it was the perfect size to use on my 3x5 gel press, which as you can see is very well loved. Now, this stamp was $9.95. You can see the copyright is $19.95. So it's one of my oldest stamps. And I love that you can just rotate this little block. It's so much fun. One of my favorite looks in mixed media projects and for card making is a patina look. And there are a lot of different ways to achieve a faux patina effect. But one of the most fun ways is by lifting prints with green or turquoise paint. So to do that, you'll want to start with your warm neutrals. So I have a rust color, I have a brown, I have kind of an ochre color going down here. These are Blick Studio paints. And then I just stamp to remove paint from the first layer on my gel press. Now, you will want to clean your stamps thoroughly when you're using them with acrylic paint. So I have my little scrubby block set up here and I just clean them off. But what I want you to see, and I'm just gonna pull this print instead of doing the patina on the first one. What I want you to see is the level of detail that we're gonna be getting throughout this printing session with these stamps. Now, I let my paint dry a little bit too long, so I'm gonna get some bonus paint on the next print. But look at that detail of those rubber stamps. As long as you just pay attention and have a little bit of a steady hand, you're going to have beautifully detailed designs. So on this print, I'm going to do the patina and I will use turquoise paint, which again is one of my favorite paints. And so I'm always running out of it. I have to get some more of this. This and white are my two most often used paints and we're not going to let that little bit that didn't come up with the last print go to waste so I will lift it with this turquoise paint just to show you how this patina look will be achieved and if you wanted to mix a little bit of green into your turquoise that'd be a fun kind of distressed way to get the patina look as well so when I pull this up you can see that stamp detail is still there even in the very faint ghost prints I'm catching everything from this beautiful little stamp. This is a classic 90s style image. I really wish this would come back into fashion this sort of architectural element style stamp because it's sort of what I started with and I love it so much. It's very timeless. This happens to be a Judikins stamp from the late 1900s and there are some similar ones out there so I will list that in the supplies. So I will do the same thing just a little bit of each one of these paints. I like to just kind of mix them up. I like my background to be a little bit distressed looking and show those different colors on each print. Now I'm sort of figuring out where did I stop so I don't have two of the same pattern next to each other. But see how convenient it is just to roll this little stamp? It's so great. I love it. And again, look at the detail that you're getting. I'm going to be using a different rubber stamp later in the video, and you're just going to be amazed at the detail. It has some very fine etching, and it prints so beautifully. Now, I did let this dry. I cut that part out, and I'm just adding the turquoise paint again. Now, this one will be less prominent with the turquoise because I've just dried the entire first layer before picking it up with the turquoise. So it'll sort of be pushed to the back and that's where you start to really get that patina look that I love so very much. I've done this with embossing. I've done it several different ways, but the gel press is probably my favorite way to get a patina look. And we all have these paints. Look at that incredible detail that you get. And the detail that you get is where that second color is going to show through the design. This is one of the reasons I really like using rubber stamps for this technique. 
is they lift so cleanly. You can see all these little teeny weeny designs that are so perfectly preserved. And I just find that a good rubber stamp does that so very well. So now we will move to a different type of image that is so much fun because this ends up looking like rust when I'm done. This is a very detailed classic pickup truck that I'm going to be making a birthday card for someone who lives in my house and is getting older and turning into a classic. So this image was just perfect, but look at the detail when I pull this print on the windshield and on the headlights because there is a little bit of very fine etching like you would find on the kind of mono print that you get from a copper etched plate and it is perfectly preserved in the printing process and you're just I squealed a little bit when I did this I'm not gonna lie it's very 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 impressive how much detail you can get so I'll pull this off. It's printing perfectly. Oh, I love it so much. It's so beautiful. See what I mean with the cross hatching on the windshield and on the headlights? Incredible, 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 incredible. So, and this is a very high quality stamp. I love the way these stamps are manufactured. Just makes me happy. Some things just never change and they've always made such high quality stamps. So I just want to show you these again just to show you how different the look of the patina is when you have different line widths and different styles of stamps and how much shows through versus how much is the prominent sort of warm neutral colors. And here's one with no patina at all and it's quite beautiful. Same designs. That's that very first print. And you can see the detail looks like the etching on a dollar bill or something. I mean, it's just incredible. I love it. So you also get that little fun little 3D effect that you get when you're lifting paint with a stamp that just can't be replicated any other way. I'm sorry. It's, it's gel press or nothing. So these are some fun little prints that I made into cards. Here is the birthday card for the older person who shall remain anonymous and then a Christmas card with one of the earlier prints. Head over to my blog for more information, and thanks so much for watching. <music>